Aaron Furman with Miles. Number 23, Brian Reynolds, is set to kick it off for the Jackson State Tigers. As we are set to go underway at Robinson Stadium in Granville, Louisiana. And this is picked up by number 21, DJ Clay. Clay, back to the 20, 25. Clay escapes the 30, 40, 45, and, and Clay is stopped out of bounds at the 45 yard line. And it will be the first and 10 at the 45 yard line of the Tigers. That was an excellent run back by DJ Clay. They had a um, right sideline wedge set up, and he hit that hole fast and he hit that hole furiously to, to give them an excellent field position. Well, let's take a look at the Grammar State University Tigers offense, beginning with the offensive line. At right tackle, number 79, William Jackson. At left tackle, number 62, Frank Livingston. The, at, at the guards, right guard, number 76, Calvin Thomas. At the left guard, number 52, Terry Riley. At center, number 50, it's an off just a little bit, first and ten. Hines, Hines right back, and the pass is incomplete. Intended for number one, Scotty Anderson. Unfortunately, there, uh, Hines overthrew his intended receiver, and uh, looks like he just needs to get a little bit of better touch on that pass. Continuing with the Tigers' offense, will be at the center, Larry Matavia. At left guard, Terry Riley. The tight ends is Rasheed Rasan. The wide receivers are Ellis Spears and Swag All American Scotty Anderson. At the fullback position, Rodney Bouduan. Michael Young is the tailback and the starting quarterback with Brandy Hines. It'll be second and ten, all at the 45 yard line. Two receivers are in a high formation. Hines with the handoff with Michael Young. Excuse me, that was Rodney Bouduan with the ball carrier. It looked like he picked up a carry and gained a big two yards. You know, Rodney Boudouin is a guy that they like to get up in the up in the crease of that defense. You know, he's not a fast guy. He's just a guy that likes to pound you and pound you and pound you. So, you know, the fact that he only gave one yard on that play is, is very relevant. I think they're just really trying to soften up that the middle of that uh, Jackson State defense interior. Yeah, so there will be, be 38, all at the 43 yard line. Have a receiver in motion three, wide right receivers out. Hines drops back to pass. Hines is in trouble. Hines is almost wrapped up. And Hines has been brought down. He's been brought down by number 91, Ramin Hammett. And so we'll bring up a fourth down for the Tigers. That was great penetration that time by the Jackson State defense. They did a good job of trying to get as much pressure as they could on Randy Hines. Unfortunately, his offensive fell. His offensive line did not do a good job of protecting him on that play. Tory Cook will receive the punt for the Jackson State Tigers as long as we the punts. And it will be out of bounds. The ball will be spotted at the 20-yard line. That was an excellent, excellent angle punt to give Jackson State absolutely horrible field position for their opening drive. They were open up from the four yard line. That was that was a great angle kick by Lawrence Richmond on that uh, special teams play. Well, the Jackson State Tigers offense is this uh, beginning with the offensive line. The right tackle, number 72, Dorigo Elliott. The, right, the left tackle, number 78, Michael Matthews. And right guard, Alvin Garibald. The left guard, Kevin Thomas. The wide receivers are Daniel Guy and Lauren Story. At the tight end is Kendrick Travis, and the quarterback is number one, Robert Kent. And the tailback is Nathan McLaurin, and the fullback, Damian Gustler. So it will be first and ten at the five yard line. And the handoff is to number 42, Damian Gustler. And Gustler's only picked up a, a good game of about three yards. I can't understand why uh, Duxworth is in the game and not McLaurin. McLaurin is a freshman tailback who usually starts the game off for uh, Jackson State. But here in this game at Robinson Stadium, it looks like they've elected to go with Duxworth. can't understand why, but I'm sure they're just having a little tricks up their sleeve for that grand defense. <laughs> who is, by the way, number one in this way? Yes, yes. It'll be second and eight. And again, the handoff to Duxworth, and I don't think Duxworth got much. Mm -hmm. Alexis Robinson on that stop for the Grand Tigers, and that was an excellent job of holding this position on there out the outside linebacker. Starting off for the Grand State defense, you have 
Well, we'll get to that in just a second after the third down play. That was no gain on that play, so it will be third and eight. Ball at the eight yard line. Kent drops back to back. And the pass has been caught. The pass has been caught by number 13, Hard Story. And he's going to be in the end zone. Touchdown, Jackson State. Lawrence Story. Lawrence Story. Really beat Byron Addison bad on that play. On the little just in fade route to the sideline. Got a little slant and then slid up route. And um, Byron Addison could not stay with him. And he didn't have much help from his safety. It looked like the Grammar State defense was on a blitz in that play. And my gosh, so Jackson State has scored so fast they didn't even give me a chance to announce our starting defense. <laughs> That was excellent manipulation by Jackson State, as you mentioned before, Miles. Lawrence Story, Ryan Reynolds, excuse me, Ryan Reynolds escaped the extra point, and it is good. Lawrence Story on a 90-yard pass reception. So Lawrence Story with a 90-yard touchdown reception from quarterback Robert King. Four extra point good makes it seven to nothing. That's Ryan Reynolds. As DJ Clay prepared, gets ready for the for the kickoff. Along with William Lloyd. Receivers. We can't always go on top and get the big play. 